Hello, everyone. My name is Lu Minghui. My name is Yuan Hongrui. Our competition category is Unity of RCAP Cool Space Rescue. We are students of Dalian Field Trade Zone, number one high school of China. We love learning and studying robots. I took part in the first steps Unity of Cool Space Rescue of RCAP Tianjin 2021. My teammate Yuan participated. In the unity of it, in my opinion, the final goal of the game is to collect objects as much as possible, but without running in traps, getting out the border and crashing obstacle. The mathematical model of the Cold Space Rescue is multi-objective optimization, and many influence factors are random and not fixed. Therefore. In order to design and make adaptive algorithms to solve problems, we adopt two tactics, both of which will be elaborated as followed. So the result was 2,160. The experiments and the competitions have proved that the algorithms have an excellent performance. One of the tactics is to go straight to the deposit area and the stupid objects. We first need to figure out the degree of the angle between the car and the coordinate of we will want to reach. Then we could generally get the car reaching there. Another tactic is a pipeline route, which will get us to the deposit area more efficiently. We will first fill in the marking when designing. Once the robot meets the conditions we need in a certain coordinate area, it can turn to a fixed direction and return to the deposit area. This method can greatly reduce the time to find the deposit area and speed up a search up. This method can also be integrated into the search for super objects and then get higher grades. In this part, I will show you the tactics. You can see that the car is fully loaded. Now the car will go to the deposit area. Deposited successfully. Then a super plus object create, and the stretch going will be started. Deposited successfully again. The rescue competition can be integrated into the reality. When there is a major crisis or in daily life, we can write fixed conditions and uh, variables for the robot and let them directly look for the target and the command. For example, in our game, it can be fixed to find some special objects, and in our life. It can be fixed to find some people or tasks. In this competition, we learned a lot of knowledge relative to robots and made many excellent friends, which enriched our knowledge and made us more confident. Thanks to the RCAP for giving us the opportunity to participate, learn, and communicate. Finally, we sincerely appreciate our teacher Li Chengbo and the friends we met in Rubicon. Thank you all for bringing us priceless knowledge and endless fun.